Today, we're going to talk about a very, very important topic, and that's how to build your own following. Stay tuned. Welcome back to Your Digital Mindset, the channel that is devoted to you, the online entrepreneur, your mindset, and especially your online business. All right, it's very, very important. Okay, you've got to start building your own following, and you should know that by now, but maybe you just are just starting out, and it is crucial. Unless you have a lot of money to run ads, you need to build an organic following, which means free leads, all right? And even if you have money to run ads, I strongly encourage you to build a following, an organic following regardless, because this is something that feeds your business you know, in perpetuity forever, all right? So it's very important. And a lot of people go, man, you know, how do I do it? First step is just is put out content. I know a lot of people say, man, I can't, you know, I don't want to be in front of the camera. I don't want to make videos and blah, blah, blah. My first piece of advice, and I don't mean this to sound cold, but it's just to get over that. Okay. Get past it. Cause you will, if you, if you get brave and just start making the videos then you will get more natural at it as you go. Cause I can assure you when I first made my first video, it looked like somebody was holding me hostage. Like I was reading from a prompter and saying, send the ransom money. It was terrible. However, I look back on it now and I can laugh because I've got more, I'm not saying that I'm so great at it. However, I got a lot more natural at understanding that the camera is my conduit to reach you. All right. So it's just a way for us to talk, just another medium. And you get where you don't consider it a camera. You just consider it a microphone for us to talk through. Uh, so that's important. However, if you're like, I can't get past that. You can make videos without putting your face on the camera. It's not that big a deal. Uh, there's plenty of plenty of ways to keep the camera from recording while you're recording the screen. You can do a screenshot like I'm doing now, minus the, uh, the the picture part, okay? So keep that in mind. But I cannot stress to you enough how important it is to start making content. And so many people go, man, I just don't know what to make content about. Well, my main piece of advice is whatever you're consuming, whatever you're learning about, whatever's important to you to be learning about, other people want to learn that too. So what you do is you take whatever video you just watched, whatever podcast you just listened to, or whatever blog you just read, and you take that content and you put your own spin on it, your own flair on it, your own style on it, and you put that same piece of content out because other people want to know the same stuff you want to know. And the thing is, you're like, well, I don't really know it. I'm not really an expert. You know it a little bit more than the person after you because you're already learning it. That means the next person behind you and there's millions coming. They keep on coming every day. So many people want to learn how to either make money from home, they want to lose weight, they want to you know, get a relationship or whatever your niche is. They want to know about that. And you're already one step ahead of them because you already consumed that content before they are. So it's a great way, you heard me say this, if you're a follower of mine, is that learn, do, and teach. That's the best way I know to get yourself into gear. Get yourself into first gear of making content is learn by like watching this video, do it, practice it, and then teach it in another video. All right, it's a great way to naturally create content as you're going through your journey as an online entrepreneur. All right, so I'm gonna talk about a few things, but my main thing was I was really want to really want to stress to you how important it is to get yourself into the creating mode. All right, start creating. Stop. Try to. St I say this: you need to stop consuming as much and producing more. But if you're gonna, you know, honestly, when you're first starting out, you've got to consume content to learn. So, but if you have to consume content, make sure you just repurpose that content as your own content. Again, not copying them, but you know, learning it and then putting your own, you know, what you learn from it and then adding something to it. Because people are going to relate to you in particular. Some people relate to me, a bunch of people don't. That's cool because I want to mention this. You don't need the whole world to love you. You just need a few people that will, you know, buy into what you're you're talking about, whatever you're promoting, and you know, just a little tiny, tiny, tiny fraction. I mean, think about it. There's what, uh, 8 billion people now? You just need 0.0000001% of those people to be your customers, and then you have a great, great business. All right, so let's talk about a few places you can produce content on. I'm not going to dig into each one of these individually. I just want to give you kind of some, you know, some inspiration to start thinking about where you want to go with your content. And obviously, most of you are watching this video on YouTube right now. Maybe you're on Facebook or something like that. But YouTube, I know that it gets a bad rap, so to speak, for new creators thinking that the algorithm is not going to be too kind to them. And as a general rule, that's probably true. However, it's something you need to have as a staple in your arsenal, so to speak, of your you know, social media channels. You need to have a YouTube channel. I don't care if you don't put one video a week out. Just make a video, get it out there, because eventually this thing will get traction. But it, it might take you a while. It's not as uh, progressive as a lot of these other platforms we'll talk about. But I still encourage you to make YouTube videos whenever you can because it's 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 tried and true. I've seen huge fortunes built on YouTube. And I want to mention this because I get this a lot. I don't have time. I don't have time to put the time in to do this. 
one of the guys who brought me on, one of the guys who got me re-inspired to pursue this, uh, this my career in online entrepreneurship, he had a full-time job as a full-time military guy. Okay, he worked all day in the military. Then he came home for a couple hours a night, worked on his business, put out YouTube videos. Man, his business got to where he didn't want to quit the military because he loved the camaraderie. He loved the, the guys he worked with and all that good stuff. But it didn't make any more sense for him to keep being in the military because the pay was nowhere near what he's making in his online business. He was making over $100,000 a month part-time with his online business. And again, I'm not saying anybody's going to do that. That's very atypical. However, it can be done. So I'm just saying, if you can put a little bit of time each day into your business, you can make this thing grow. But you got to make a commitment to do this thing every day if you can, and especially in the beginning. You need to spend a little bit of time every day in your business. And if you're saying, I just don't have time, my advice is get up earlier or stay up later or both. Because if, because if you truly want it, you'll make time. Bottom line. All right, so again, YouTube, hugely popular, regular old YouTube videos. Also, YouTube has what's called shorts now. And I'm going to be honest, I have not posted any YouTube shorts, but the way that TikTok and Triller and all these different platforms are working right now, those little short videos are really, really popular because of people's attention spans these days. The way I look at it is, is that like TikTok and Triller and Dub Smash or, you know, maybe uh, YouTube shorts or whatever, uh, it, uh, Instagram, Pinterest, all those little short videos, those are like, like a first date, like you meet somebody. Hey, how you doing? They realize that you exist. Okay, you've gone and said, hey, my name is blank. And then you try to get them over to somewhere like YouTube or your main Instagram platform or wherever and get and then get to know them there. All right, that's where you build that know, like, and trust we talked about, KLT. You want people to find out that you exist, know you, start liking you through your content, and then trusting you eventually to buy whatever you're promoting. All right, so anyway, so YouTube, still powerful, get Start making YouTube videos if you can. And again, you don't have to be on video, but I encourage you to get past that and get on video because somebody, a lot of people are going to relate to you no matter what you look like, sound like, or whatever. Enough people will relate to you that they'll become great uh, buyers, okay, and good uh, customers for you, okay? And again, we talked about Pinterest. And again, I'm not going to dig deep into these platforms. Just giving you an idea. Instagram, Facebook, okay, I've got a Facebook uh Fan page on Facebook, got almost 10,000 followers there. You've got TikTok, which again, I don't care what anybody says, right now TikTok is still one of the most powerful platforms for you to start building your online business right now. I don't care if, you, if you're like, oh, I missed the boat. No, you didn't. Get on there, start producing content, because if the algorithm thinks people will like your content, they'll promote it. Simple as that. So get on there, produce some content. And then of course you got Triller, and Triller is starting to pay some of the former TikTok personalities, influencers to come over there because they want more uh, follow. It's raw. I mean, there's hardly anybody there producing, you know, business type videos right now. So I encourage you to get over to Triller or one of the TikTok like platforms, Dove Smash, Likey. Uh, there's a bunch of them. And I want to mention this and I want to make a long video today, but if you want to learn how to make short form, little bitty, tiny, quick videos like TikTok and Triller and all those, there's training right here. Go to that link on your screen. I'll also put that down below. But what's powerful about this is it'll teach you how to make quality, sometimes viral videos on these platforms. But when you get that, when you get that training for TikTok, you also get access to the 15-day online business builder challenge. And I can't tell you how crucial that is for helping you build your business the right way. My business struggled. I struggled enormously until I went through that same training and it changed everything. So I encourage you, again, if you go to that link on your screen, also down below, you'll get both of them. You get the TikTok training and the 15-day challenge. And I'm telling you, you'll thank me. I can assure you when you get through with all that, you'll be like, that's what I needed. Because I'm not going to say you're going to start making money immediately. But I know a bunch of people who came in way younger than me, way less experienced than me, came in and started doing exactly what this training said and started getting as much results as I am or even more sometimes. So people are getting in there in weeks or just a month and making money. And again, I can't guarantee that. I'm just saying that people are doing it. So do yourself that favor. Go get that training. I mean, it's a dollar, so I'm not going to get rich. But I want you to know if you do this, you'll have the foundation you need and start being more confident and start producing the content that you need to produce because you know what you're talking about. All right, that's, confidence is huge. Okay, That's what keeps us from doing a lot of things. We go, well, I don't know what I'm talking about. Or, I don't have enough experience. Or, I, don't, you know, I don't have enough knowledge. Once you go through real training, you will. And then you'll be like, okay, I can put out content because that's what you got to do. We talked about, we started this video with how do you create a following? putting out quality content that people want to see and that people start clicking subscribe or follow or whatever. All right. So anyway, 
that's long enough. Didn't want to make a long video today. Let me know if you got any questions. Drop them down below. If not, I will see you in the next video. It's Chaz here with your digital mindset. And I can't wait to see you on the inside. Thanks a lot.